Outdoors. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at Papa's Kitchen, or Papa's Kingdom, Papa Texas, AKA Papa's uh, Backyard. <laughs> <laughs> y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Guys, I'm so glad you stuck around. Hey, what the heck? Okay, those are shotgun shells right there. Yeah. So you can look at this one. So it's a pasta. Yeah. That's ribbed like that. Yeah, and you wrapped it with bacon and it has all kinds it's of stuff. It's got sausage and cheese inside. Oh my god. And over here we got some French fries going. French fries. And over here we got some chicken and some sausage going. Oh damn! Just, look, just a little snack. Little snack. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know how the shotgun shells are. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it doesn't blow my head off. <laughs> <laughs> On shotgun shells, I use good old boys candy bacon rub. And then at the end, we put some Eddie Dean barbecue peach on that. And then on the on the uh, chicken, we got Uncle Steve's sweet and the spicier. You gotta have Uncle Steve's. And then uh, I just threw on some the Salt Lick Texas Honey Pecan Barbecue Sauce. So you're gonna like that. I think I will. Because that's I, what we got. I like honey. Honey? And honey. Huh? Sweet pecan or the one Hey guys, getting ready to taste one of them shotguns here. I'm showing a picture of that. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. I already took a picture, so I'll slide okay. it in. Yeah, I'll slide it in right here. And I'm using <laughs> Farberware. Farberware is your favorite utensils. Not really. <laughs> Did you know you had Farberware? It's a utility knife or a steak knife. All right, so, all right. My get, turn. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one right here. I'm gonna turn that a little bit so we get both of us in. All right. You can pick the one you want. I'm gonna pick this one right on the top, right there. Look at that, look at that. Bad baby shotgun. So are these like a, I'll wait till you get back. I think it's like manicotti. Well, no, that's not my question. Is this kind of like finger food or do you? Yeah, use, yeah. It's, like a, it's like a side dish finger food. The bacon wrapped around it is supposed to soften the pasta. Hit it? Nope. Yeah. It's stuffed with sausage and cheese, right? That's right. And you know what? This isn't good. I'm just throwing it on the ground. <laughs> this is awesome, actually. Not bad. You can take that sausage for sure. I used Owens. No, what? I used Owens sausage. Mm -hmm. I think everybody in Texas knows Owens mm -hmm. sausage. I need Owens sausage. The one thing I think it needed? A little more cheese. Oh, mine. You like it. No, I think more cheese would have been good. But it's still good. You can never get have enough cheese. I think what I would do if, if I was doing these is like a little appetizer taken to a party. I would actually slice them in slices like that for people to put a little toothpick on it. That's too damn fancy. So you're going to see my plate full of little toothpicks. <laughs> Okay, if I know you're coming, I'll leave you a whole one. Yeah, leave me a whole one. <laughs> you know, he's eating with a fork. I'm eating with my hands. After he told me it was finger food. <laughs> yeah. Toothpick food. Yeah. It's finger food. And it's pretty darn good. Huh? And and ate since this morning, so it's good. <laughs> How you last night? But hey, it's still good. I like this thing. Not tasty, but that's a lot. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna eat all of it. What about you? I didn't like any of this stuff. <laughs> oh, I am overly stuffed. Papa, thanks. <clears throat> yeah. Papa's kitchen. 
just pulled out stuff we happen to have in the refrigerator. You ever get a chance to have Papa's Kitchen? A little expensive, <laughs> but it's well worth finding it. So, no, thank you, really. Good stuff. Sure. Awesome. Uh, there is no way I'd throw this. I was going to say shit. <laughs> There's no way I'd throw this great food down on the ground. <laughs> All right. And it pairs well with pecan pie cider from Bishop Cider. Pecan. No, pecan. It pairs well with that. Yeah, I drank all the pecan pie. It's got some backwash in there. You want the peanut butter one? Oh, I had some... Uh... Spicy brown mustard for the sausage. Oh, it did not need it. No. Yeah, I know. It's flavorful. No, it did not need it. It didn't need nothing except for my mouth. It, all it needed was to go into <laughs> my mouth and into my tummy. That's all that sausage needed. And the shotgun shells were awesome. All it needed was my mouth, too. Yeah, they didn't need to go down your mouth. They didn't need to go down my mouth. This conspiracy on ice. Yeah. Have you heard of it? All right. Ice, you can go get a 10 pound bag and it costs you anywhere from 98 cents if you get it at Bucky's or uh, $2 to $3. And you know, that's cool. You're getting 10 pounds and it's perfect for my cooler. All of a sudden, this beginning of this year, seven pound bags, same price. Kind of irritating. I have to buy two bags of ice just to put in my cooler, and I'm wasting the other part of it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Is that a conspiracy or what? Sounds like it. Yeah, I think so. See, Pop Texas thinks it's a conspiracy. Now, Gigi went to Bucky's the other day, and she bought the uh, apple pie. Yeah. Same price, and it was like this. Oh. <laughs> Instead of. This is what inflation does. <laughs> Reduces ice. Yeah, and I went and bought ice at, uh, where was I? Hell, I don't remember where I was at. Anyway, the store was called Casey's. And I was going in there. I said, I want to get some ice. And she goes, three bucks. I'm going, okay, three bucks. So I give her three bucks. I go out there. It's a five pound bag. <laughs> I'm serious. A five pound bag. And I'm sitting there going, three dollars. I just go, no way. I'm going to get my money back. So I go back in there and I tell her, I says, there's no way in hell I'm going to buy. And that's exactly what I said. There's no way in hell I'm going to buy a bag of five pound, a five pound bag of ice for three dollars. And she goes, just go grab another one. It'll be okay. <laughs> so I got my 10 pounds anyway. <laughs> But yes, there is a conspiracy on this this uh, shit. Yep, I'm going to say it. Shit, conspiracy on ice, and uh, I'm not happy about it. I decided I was going to buy an electric ice cooler and just tell them. There you go. Yeah, I can get one for a couple hundred bucks. Save me in the long run. Cold stuff. That's what you get, ice company. Ready Ice, you're one of them. You'll have to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and then hammer the hell out of that bell, and you'll get a notification that I've uploaded a video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch you on the road here in Papa Texas Kingdom, aka Patio. <laughs>